Hi, my name is Erica Alexander, and this is my she story. So I think what they want me to do is tell you a little bit about myself. Okay, I will. Um, you may know me as an actress on television. I played Max's Living Single. No, I played Max in Living Single. I was Cosby's cousin Pam. I've been in television, film, and theater for 33 years, and I've had a good career. I can't complain. Um, but most people don't really know who I am. I'm from Arizona. I am one of six. Both my parents were orphans. I was born in Winslow, Arizona. I was raised in Flagstaff, Arizona. And we lived in a hotel called Starlight off of Route 66 for the first 11 years of my life. And we were what is referred to commonly as the working poor. And that just meant that we had to work hard for very little. We would knock on people's doors and ask them for jobs, sweeping their porch, taking out their trash, whatever we do, we could do to bring some money in. Um, my father was an itinerant preacher, so that meant that he would go around and preach from whoever wanted him to show up and uh, do a Sunday or Wednesday service. Um, tough way to make a living. And my mother was a teacher, and she was also his partner. She would sing with him and play the piano. They were like a, a tag team who would go around and uh, on the reservations in Arizona and bring us along. And that was the first part of my life. My father eventually uh, left the Church of God in Christ to go to be a Lutheran pastor, and that's how I ended up in Philadelphia. And I was discovered in a film called My Little Girl um, as I was taking a class in New Freedom Theater, and they found me. And that big discovery changed my life, but it did not change my circumstance. We still were um, working hard for very little, and my father would soon after that pass, and I would continue to work and skip college and to try to help my mother uh, bring in uh, income, but also to help my brothers and sisters. I got a chance to become Hillary Clinton's surrogate um, in 2007. And this taught me the power of service and community. I always knew it because one thing you know, uh, when you don't have much, you depend on a lot of people. And Hillary Clinton taught me that to give service is a sacrifice. Your time, your energy, to subscribe to a certain ideology is not just um, talking about it, it's being about it. So I got a chance to be your surrogate and go all around America, and including 2016. Um, unfortunately, we did not uh, get the result that we wanted, and that is heartbreaking. And I think a lot of sheep stories will come in talking about this moment in time. I hope you can remember this that part of learning about who you are is learning how to be resilient in tough times. And I believe that me finding out who I was and who I am and who I continue to be will be how I can come back from difficult situations. So that's a piece of my she, she story and I'll tell you more how we're handling it. but. Um, I think you should join us and tell your story.